Over the last 20 years or so, I've been to the dentist a lot. Not because my teeth are bad or anything like that, just for checkups and so on. But up until recently, every dentist I went to was a private dentist. That is, they run their own practice or they work for a company. And almost every time I saw a dentist, they said I needed work done. A cavity here, a filling there. Only two times I actually went to the dentist for an actual problem that I could see or feel. But despite this, almost every dentist has found problems with my teeth. A few years ago, I was talked into joining a dental plan for one of those well-known dental chains for like $12 a fortnight or whatever. It allowed me to get two free checkups and cleans every year. Initially, I thought it was a good idea, except that every time I went to get my free clean, they always found a problem. And I mean always. Obviously, the problems they found I could never see with my own eyes. The dentist would always take an x-ray and point out some dark spots or discrepancies on my teeth. They would convince me that what I was looking at was the beginnings of dental decay, and that the best thing to do would be to put a filling in to prevent any further deterioration. Or if it wasn't a new filling, they'd convince me that one of my old fillings needed replacing. Oh yes, this filling could fall out at any moment. You best get it replaced before it's too late. Now who am I to refute them? I'm no expert. I don't know whether I need replacement fillings or new fillings or anything else. But after like the tenth time, I started to have my doubts. I started to think that these dentists are simply finding problems that, you know, by fixing them wouldn't hurt me, but would certainly make them more money. On top of all that, I don't even think I saw the same dentist twice. These big dental chains seem to have an endless lineup of new dentists constantly coming and going. I think most of them were not from Australia. I'm not saying that I'm against foreign dentists. Not at all. I'm sure their skill is just as good as locally trained ones. It's just that I started to question their motivations. Perhaps they had fewer opportunities to find work and ended up working for these large dental chains in order to just get a job. Maybe their work conditions weren't very good and they felt pressure to upsell to their patients. I don't honestly know, but one thing I did observe was that most of these dentists at these large dental chains didn't last longer than about six months. Anyway, last year I became eligible to see the public dentist here in Queensland. Basically, that means that my family have a low enough income. Public dentistry is notorious for having huge waiting lists because, as with most public services, they are severely underfunded. But finally, after about a year of waiting, I got a call up last week offering me an appointment. I rocked up to this small clinic which had two female dentists inside. I had to fill out a form asking me whether or not I was willing for a student dentist to work on my teeth, of course under the supervision of a real dentist. I said yes, it didn't really bother me. Because of the recent coronavirus concerns, I watched them clean down the dental chair and equipment, which took them about 15 minutes. I was greeted by the more elderly dentist, who turns out has been a dentist for more than 30 years. She sat me down and began to work. In the end, I was pleasantly surprised. She was extremely thorough. She went over each tooth one by one, shouting out things like, two, two, buckle, amalgam, two, three, sound, and so on to her assistant. She was happy to explain all the terminology to me and certainly wasn't in a rush. She gave me a full cleaning. She applied some fluoride treatment or whatever. She took x-rays. She gave me advice on brushing technique and so on. In the end, she gave me a clean bill of health. I was quite surprised because almost every other dentist that I had been to in the last decade or two had found problems real or imagined. It could have been coincidence. It could be that over the last year I've been really looking after my teeth extremely well, but in the previous two decades I had nothing but problems. But I doubt it. Now of course, I'm not saying that all private dentists are con men or crooks, just the large majority of them. I'm joking, of course. I don't actually know how many dentists are willing to perform unnecessary treatment and fillings, but you don't have to look very far in the news to know that this is a real problem. After thinking about it, it makes complete sense. A public dentist has no motivation to give you unnecessary treatment. They're on a fixed salary. They don't get bonuses or more money for doing extra fillings. But I did begin to wonder, how many times did I actually need fillings over the last 20 years? 
How could I prove it? Unless there was a gaping hole in one of my teeth, I basically had to put all my trust in those dentists who showed me a blurry x-ray shot telling me that this dark patch is a potential cavity. In all honesty, I could never see it. But then again, who am I to judge? At the time, I simply wrote it off as me not being trained in dental imaging. Some of you might be saying that I should have gone and got a second opinion or whatever whenever I had any doubts. But unfortunately, the very action of getting a second opinion costs us money in Australia. You can't just go and see a dentist. You have to pay them for the privilege. And even if I did see another dentist, it's quite possible that they're under the same pressures to pay the bills or pay off their loans or to upsell and get bonuses or whatever. So how could I even trust a second opinion at a private practice? Anyway, in the end, I found the public dentist highly professional, extremely thorough, and best of all, she said that my teeth were in perfect health, a surprise to say the least. And for that reason alone, I think public dentists are better than private ones. They have no financial motivation to upsell you. They receive no bonuses for putting in fillings. Their only goal is to make sure your teeth are in good health, which obviously should be the goal of all dentists. But unfortunately, only some Australians are eligible to see the public dentist, which means most of you have to put your trust in private dentists who are part of an industry that has been known to perform unnecessary treatment for financial gain. Anyway, that's it from me. Talk to you next time.